Hello bookies and book lurries. Today we're going to unbox the October Owl Crate box. This is so cool. Um, I totally forgot what their theme was. It was something about being lost in a bookstore. We're going to go with that. So let's get started. I can't get the box open. Wow. I've literally lost the theme card. Wow. Wow. I am so dumb. Anyways, here <laughs> lost in a bookstore. I was right. It's so cute. Um, I'm going to have to try to do this by memory. I will have like everything linked down below. I have the theme card somewhere. It's in my pile of stuff to review. Just bear with me. <laughs> but I'll link my, uh, my review to my blog on the caption down below. So if you actually care about that, you can go see it. If you're just here to look at all the pretty stuff that was in the October Owl Crate box and to, you know, think to yourself like, damn, I should have got that box. Then just keep watching because you're going to be thinking that a lot here soon. So one of the first things that I saw when I opened this was Choco Mint Truffle, which is apparently tea. I hate tea. Hate it. Also, here's a tea strainer. It's cute. It's in the shape of a heart. But again, I don't do tea. So these are going, like always, to the first person that I'm mailing stuff to. It'll be a surprise. Hopefully it's you. <laughs> if, you're, if I'm mailing something to you, you might get a chance to get this. Maybe. <laughs> All right, the next item was this book clutch, and it's really cute. I didn't know what it was at first. Uh, apparently, someone had to explain to me that it was a book clutch. My husband and, like, the 15 other people that messaged me saying, It's a book clutch, you dummy! I didn't call you dummy. You thought it. <laughs> All right, and on the back it says, Books are a uniquely portable magic. It's really cute. It's got enough space. Like, this would be a good fit for, like, a good small paperback book. No, nothing like, you know, Children of Blood and Bone, but like, I don't know. Uh, Words We Don't Say by K.J. Riley. <laughs> oh, well, no, never mind. Um, uh, do I have another paperback? Cinder. Let's try Cinder. Oh, Cinder might fit. Snug! <laughs> there we go. I'm totally gonna take that out of there, else I'm gonna forget this in there. The next item was Socks! And these are from Out of Print. They say Book Nerd on them. Um, apparently, if you had um, an issue where your socks said the same... These are not for you. Why are you so interested in my socks? You don't even wear socks. That's a book. You don't read. Dogs. She thinks that this is her bark box. Don't mess with the camera. Mama's talking to her invisible friends. Go away. Thank you. So apparently they had some sort of issue where if your socks said the same word on, on them, then you were supposed to email them. But fortunately, one of mine says book and the other mine says nerd. So this is the time in your life where you want mis mismatching socks. Because it means that nothing's wrong with your order. <laughs> They're cute, by the way. I kind of like them. I might use them in a picture or two or 20. Uh, the monthly pen. I kind of like the bigger version better because this version kind of looks a little weird. Like, what are you reaching up for? And what's that on your head? And I can't even read what book you're reading. What book is she reading? Little Witches. Okay. Oh, okay. So you see in like, actually this this is better. So you see in like the big version where she's holding her, cup, her teacup up and the teacup is pouring? That makes so much more sense. The little version, not so much. They should have minimized the picture. All right, and this owl crate was really, really cool in that it included two books. So the first book that ah that we got was I'm going to totally mispronounce this author's name, but Pride by I I Iba Ivy Zo Zobi. I'm so sorry, I can't pronounce crap. Oh, also I forgot to mention we got a Harry Potter print. You know, nothing special like everything, like every other box. It, it's a it's a Harry Potter print. Um, <laughs> I'm serious though. Like, have you noticed that? Like, in your book boxes, you either get something Harry Potter themed, or something Throne of Glass themed, or Sarah J. Mass, whatever. And they're almost always like either a print or a candle. It's kind of weird, but yeah. So we got Pride. Uh, this is a Pride and Prejudice remix. And look at this. Holy crap! those end pages. They're adorable. I'm in love. And signed, as always. Ooh, look at that. 
foil right there. Um, and ah, she included an author letter with the art on the side and then a bookmark. I didn't know that Owl Crate did bookmarks now. I guess she, I don't know. Can you consider this Owl Crate doing a bookmark if they're just like cutting out just a random strip and not? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, and it says, you ruined this block, this hood, my heart. That'd be really cool. And this is the one I'm really excited about because now I don't have to go out and buy it. It is my October, or sorry, not my October. I am so sorry. I'm stuck in October. Uh, it is my December book for my book club that I run, and it is Shadow of the Fox by Julia Kigali. Um, it's freaking amazing. She signed it. It looks gorgeous. Let's do this. Like, that is super gorgeous. The, uh, the dust jacket is inverse. So this was red and that was black. I like the inverse a lot better. And I'm so excited to start this in December. I think this is going to be a wonderful book of the month pick. My friend Nikki, uh, who is the Reading Rebel on Instagram, picked this out. So thanks, Nikki. And then we have the theme for the next month for November is going to be Rise from the Ashes. Flip for a sneak peek. Oh, it's going to, every November box will include exclusive uh, seal, ah, wax seal kit from Team Owl Crate. It's not pictured here, but it is beautiful. P.S. If you're already subscribed, your account will automatically renew. Yay! Alright, so that is the picture of the not picture. It might look something like that. It might not. Who knows? <laughs> so, that was all of the Owlcrate uh, box. I have my review down below. I'm thinking that this is going to be a 5 out of 5, though. I'm not sure. Maybe a 4.5 out of 5 or a 4 out of 5. Um, don't know. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye.